my life on the X list. Hey there, what's up, YouTube? It's me, the Diva X, and it is Saturday, November 9th, 2013. And it is a great Saturday, um, I guess, if you want to call it a great Saturday. I guess I just called it a great Saturday. So maybe it's not that great, I guess. Um, well, maybe, well, it's not that not that great either. I don't know. Um, it is a sad day. I have finished... Um, all of Breaking Bad Season 5 Part 1 on Netflix, so I'm at a standstill because apparently um, Season 2, or Season 5 Part 2 is a two-parter, so there's a whole last portion that, of course, isn't available pretty much anywhere online um, to watch. So apparently there's a way, um, if I really, really wanted to, I could... <sighs> There's a workaround to get to Netflix out of the UK versus the, the United States version. And um, being that I have an account, I guess it's really, really, ac I have access to it. But um, I looked on the Comcast On Demand, Season 5 Part 2 is not on there. Um, someone said it might be on Hulu. I'm not sure, but I'm stressing out because... Um, Monday is a holiday, and I have other things I have to accomplish, but I also had on my to-do list was finish Breaking Bad, this the whole the whole show. So tomorrow will be the day that I kind of hunt. I'm not going to go buy it, that's for sure, because um, I didn't buy any of the first five, so I wouldn't buy the last part of it. Uh, maybe I could rent it. Hmm, now I'm thinking. Do they even rent stuff still? I don't even know. Is that possible? Hmm... There's a thought. I just thought about that. Can I rent it? I was thinking physical, like, go in and rent the season, but, um, hmm. I don't even know if they rent movies anywhere still. Anyhow, um, so that's that. Um, if you have, guys haven't already heard it or haven't gotten it, um, Lady Gaga's uh, CD leaked uh, art pop. It comes out Tuesday. Um, I have every intention of buying it, and uh, Lady Gaga herself said, just enjoy it, whatever, if you've gotten it, to enjoy it. Um, so, um, enjoying it, I have been. Uh, it's weird, because as a individual album, or individual singles, I wasn't, I mean, I liked Applause. Uh, I wasn't too keen on Venus, um, as its performance, as she did it. Um, excuse me, I have the hiccups, I think. Um, but as a collective album, it's a really great album. Like, um, I think in, in, in the journey, um, of the CD, like, it's, it's a really good collection of tracks. And so, um, I like it much better than Born This Way. Um, yeah. Um, so this is by far, to me, in my... Not to say I don't like Born This Way, but this is definitely better than, to me, Born This Way. Um, it's a little... I don't know how to describe it. It's just a little bit of everything. Um, I love... I, I like it. I've been bumping it ever since. Um, it's kind of up there. Um, um, it's, it's up there. <laughs> I don't really know which one's my favorite. I mean, Gog, I mean, the Born This Way, uh, the, uh, the monster, uh, excuse me, the fame monster wasn't really, to me, was not a full album, so it doesn't really, uh, I mean, I loved everything on it, and for its full, complete body of work, it wasn't, like, it just, I mean, it was great, but it wasn't a full album, so how do you grade that? So if, if we were going to clump it with the fame, then the fame, <coughs> excuse me. I just got a good inhalance of my uh, perfume. Wow. Because um, I can't breathe. Um, and still, I mean, I could breathe, but I can't breathe through my nose. So I'm not really smelling anything um, or taking anything in through the nose. And so, um, yeah, I just got a good whiff in my nose somehow. Um, but anyhow, that was a, that was a big, big nail. So anyways, back to Lady Gaga's album. Um, I say the fame is obviously because if we clump the two, the fame and the fame monster together, then that's technically one album, even though they were, we talk about them like they're two. So first album, Art Pop, and then Monster Born This Way. Um, I just, I don't know. I liked Born This Way. I just, 
it just wasn't, I, I didn't bump it as much. I just, I mean, the, you know, and I took the singles, don't get me wrong, I took the singles, but just the other parts of it were just kind of like, okay, all right, okay. So anyhow, that's what I'm listening to right now. And um, if you have not paid attention, uh, the Real Housewives of Atlanta has returned. Now, this is the only housewife, well, actually in Jersey. Atlanta and Jersey are the only franchise of the housewives that I've ever gotten into. I actually was talking about this just recently with Jeff and Frank. Um, I did like the Washington, D.C. ones. They said they were boring, but I personally enjoyed them. Um, they were a little bit, I don't, I don't know, they weren't as crazy, I get it, um, but they were definitely showing a different aspect, um, and I really enjoyed that aspect of it. But anyhow, uh, Atlanta is back. Now, we all know Miss Nene Leakes has dominated the show as far as every season. Actually, I want to say last season was probably her least uh, uh, big involvement, big, uh, big uh, role uh, as far as... Um, being Nene Leakes um, in the season, and I think because she was just going through her own things, but this season already, episode one, she is back, and she is letting the children have it, and I love every minute of it, because she got Kenya together, and um, I love every minute of it, because she tried to do the right thing, and as, like, here's the thing, and it's called being a fucking adult. If you know you're going to go to some place and you know you're going to see people who you prefer not be around and or even like to be associated with, you still have, I mean, you, if you're obligated to be there, you're still going to have to interact with that those people. And if in, uh, to a point where you are able to avoid them, then do so. Well, she did that just as she planned on doing was just kind of staying away from the problem and not having to deal with it. When she encountered the problem, Kenya, uh, she did so, you know, very kindly and said hello, how's things, and whatever, and then in one Kenya, and she got it together, and ultimately what it comes down to is, Ken uh, you know, Kenya's lost it, and um, the Nini got it together, and just like she said, I'm tired of getting Kenya together. I loved that part the most, and especially when she says, the Gone with the Wind Fabulous was last season, and so was Walter, and they're both gone. So, or maybe not those exact words, but when she made that face, I'm not going to make that face because there'll be screen caps of it, I'm sure. But, um, when she made that face of on Kenya, <laughs> talking to Kenya, I mean, she just did everything for me in that moment. So, um, I'm glad that uh, Nene Leakes is back into the uh, reigning supreme on the Housewives of Atlanta because it's it's it needed her. It needs her back, and I think now that she's not focusing on the new normal and or what other other projects she had going on, she can be that bitch again. So hey, ain't nothing wrong with it. Um, I feel like you know sometimes you got to step out of roles, sometimes you got to step into roles, and um, that's just that. Something very interesting happened to me um, this past, well, a few things happened to me interesting this past week, um, and I, um, uh, more moral assessments, more kind of what is wrong with you, gear. Um, I don't know, um, and I really don't, uh, we'll see, um, on the one thing, I, it's still, it's, there's, uh, it's a lot. <laughs> when I'm ready to talk about it, I'll talk about it. Trust me, I will. But I just am still processing the whole situation. Um, in part two was, um, this, uh, there's a lot of drama on Facebook right now. Face, I, I don't get involved in it that doesn't involve me, but I'm just, I see it. It's real. It happens. It's, 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 it's apparent. It's, it's, it's legit. It's happening. Um, I don't get involved. It's not pertaining to me, and it's not going to affect my life in any way. And it, uh, I, I, I don't, whatever. I have feelings about certain things, but I don't express them because it's not my business. Um, and so when I have people who work with me or under me, such as the girls in the show, and they 
say stuff that is not really necessary, um, that just really isn't part of the, you know, world peace uh, situation, um, I have a problem with that. And so even bigger problem when I go to the people and they tell me that, oh, it's nothing, it's just a joke that we have going on. I'm giving the benefit of the doubt, so I'm like, okay. Then come to find out it's a problem, then we have a bigger problem. I don't like being lied to. I don't like being told stories. I don't like being pacified by being told something just because, um, oh, she'll believe it. Because I do trust everyone until people give me reason not to. And I feel like that happened. And I feel like that person, um, you know, is being dealt with accordingly. But... Nonetheless, um, I don't <laughs> I don't appreciate it one bit um, because I again give everyone that trust and respect until um, they cross that line with me, and then it's just kind of like okay, so now I have to guess I second guess everything that you tell me because you can't be honest and you choose to not tell the truth. Um, so on purpose. So um, yeah, um, I, I don't play. I'm I'm not that person. I'm not I'm not that bitch, as Nini would say. Um, and I'm and I'm tired of getting people together, as Nini would say. I mean, really, just kind of talking about it. I just I just don't have the patience. I don't have the time. I my job is not to referee or babysit. So, um, but I will if I need to. I will if I need to. So um, that's happening. And then, um, sorry, I just inhaled. But um, also, before this video runs out, is um, there's a new meditation thing starting. I know a lot of you, maybe not you, but maybe you, the one over there watching, uh, were was painted, was listening to a lot of the stuff that I was saying in my previous blogs and doing the first meditation class. And then a lot of you were chiming in on some of the comments and posts that I was doing on Facebook um, and was asking, what am I reading? What am I doing? What am I doing? Um, and I don't know the direction. I, I really haven't read into it. I just saw that it was happening. I've been, I already signed up. I don't really care. Um, the first one helped me tremendously in what I was going through at that time. And I feel like what's another, you know, whatever I'm willing to be that sponge and absorb all this stuff because, um, again, she's a work in progress and anything that's really, and, you know, take what you will from things and the rest just, you know, set aside. I get it. Um, so I'm willing to do that. But I want to invite all of you guys. It's not my personal thing, but again, Oprah and Deepak, Deepak Chopra are doing another meditation session of, I think it's another 15 day or I'm not quite too sure. Um, I already signed up, but it starts on Monday, I believe. Um, I believe the last one said, so maybe Monday or Tuesday. I'm not sure, but sign up. It is important um, if you want to get in. Um, you can get in probably up until uh, the five day, uh, up until it starts, um, but they usually only have the sessions up for five days after they have, uh, they've went live. So um, don't wait on it. Um, and you'll get the emails and you can do it. You don't have to really put up a whole bunch of data. I know a lot of people take filling in stuff. Um, it links to your, it can link to your Facebook account if you do so properly. Um, and just sign in with your Facebook, and so you don't really have to remember a bunch of sign-ins or anything like that, which is convenient, I know. Um, so, yeah, it starts, I believe, again on Monday or Tuesday so of this week. So um, Veterans Day is Monday, so I think it starts on Veterans Day, if I'm correct. It might start on Tuesday. I'm not too sure. Um, but, yeah, um, join. Um, I will be talking about that in the process of that more so probably the next Saturday. Um, or I don't know about Saturday. I, I might not have a video on Saturday. We'll see. Um, but, um, yeah. So join that adventure if you can. And, um, thanks for watching. And, uh, don't forget to buy, um, Lady Gaga's Art Pop, uh, DVD, or um, CD this Tuesday. Make sure you join us on Thursday if you're capable, able, and, um, in the area. On Thursday, we'll be having a Lady Gaga show. All oh, Lady Gaga. Everyone loves Gaga. Um, so yeah, join us for that. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching and good night.